Entering the world of photographer Georgi Pinkasov is like walking onto a film set. You step into this world of rich color, shadows, reflections, and each image has so much depth and mood and ambiance. It really tells its own story. And the cinematography of his photos are not an accident. He went to a film school in Russia in 1969. And after graduating and serving his two years in the army, he began working as a set photographer for a movie studio, where his work caught the attention of internationally renowned director Andrei Tarkovsky. And he did the set photography for Tarkovsky's 1979 film, Stalker. Let's take a look at a few of those photos. Pinkasov cites Tarkovsky's 1972 film, Solaris, as one of his main sources of inspiration. And you can see by the way he uses color and shadow and framing and spacing that Pinkasov got a lot of his sensibilities from Tarkovsky. And I love that Pinkasov classifies his own work as realism, even though, as he says, his images are sometimes very fluid and metaphorical. And you can sometimes not be sure exactly what you're looking at in a given moment, but it draws your eye in. It creates this story that your mind wants to fill in the gaps. In 1988, he was accepted into the Magnum Photo Agency, and he's been a photographer with them ever since. I love the way he plays with shadow and color, allowing a single color to saturate a full image. He loves to work in low light with lots of shadows. There's lots of intrigue, and he layers his images brilliantly. The elements that are out of focus tell as much about a place as the elements that are in focus. And his photos are so rich and deep that I could spend half an hour on each image just pouring over every corner of the frame, seeing what information is included, and absorbing the scene and really taking it in and enjoying it. Pikasoff relishes in a being in the moment and photographing what's really there and interpreting it in his own way. And he doesn't like to go out with preconceived notions about what he's going to photograph. He says, quote, I'm interested in real photography. I belong to the school of realism, despite the fact that my pictures are sometimes very fluid and metaphorical. I find no interest in coming up with a plan and seeing it through. If someone has come up with an idea, nurtured it and saw it come to life, I see it as a failure. But if someone has been walking towards a goal, stumbled and suddenly saw something new, that's more interesting to me. And I love the way that he embraces the modern technology of photography. He talks about allowing the camera to take some of the technical heavy lifting off of him and being able to focus on the content to find new means for artistic expression because he doesn't have to focus so much on all the technical aspects of photography. He says, technical characteristics only weigh you down. Be sure to subscribe to see other photographer profiles. And if you have anyone specifically you want me to talk about, leave a comment. And if you're a photographer, you'll definitely want to check out my next video, which is about the techniques that Pinkasov uses to compose his images. And now you know Georgi Pinkasov.